Okay, having edited all of the parts, then moved any wrong notes and interpreted, changed drum symbols into uh, drum notes into drum symbols, and moved around the score, and learned how to do that. Let's now have a look at a full score, all of our three parts together. So let's press click home to get back to the beginning, and we turn the full score mode on by pressing U on the keyboard. There we go, all three parts together. This is what's called full score. Uh, Instant, you can also do that by going to menu edit full score and clicking on there, but the key press will be a lot quicker for you. Turning it off, by the way, is simply a question of pressing the button again. You again. Interpret, split, and full score U are all the same. They're all toggle buttons. So here we have our score. Now, uh, there's a slight problem here in so much as the part's in the wrong order. If we're going to print that out, we probably want our tune at the top, then uh, piano, then drums. So what we need to do is change the order of the tracks and how they're displayed. So I'll press E to get back to the main page again. And what we need to do is actually change the order of these three tracks here. This is fairly straightforward. Simply click on one of the tracks. Click and hold, in fact, with the left button, and the hand appears. Slide the voice track up onto the piano part and let go. A little thing comes up saying exchange or merge these tracks. Well, we want to, in this case, exchange. So click on exchange, and hey presto, it swaps them over. Do the same for the piano and drums. Click and hold on the piano, slide it up onto drums, let go, click on exchange, and there they are, swapped over. And so now there, there they are, all in the right order, voice, piano, and drums. If I press E for edit, there they are, all in the right order on the score page. Great, so we have raw score. All we need to do now is decorate the score, and then we're ready for printout.